give me the honest ratings of these people. Again, I apologize if they're blurry. <laughs> first impression. First. <laughs> first. Imp the blonde highlights kind of make him look gay, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not attracted to gay guys. So. Not a. These, these guys are the same as these. Is what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't see that at all. Recently, there's been a movement among the Manosphere, more specifically the Black Pillars, who basically believe that looks are far and away the most important thing that women sexually select for, which, you know, really isn't an unreasonable take. I think most people inherently kind of believe that. Uh, but I think the Black Pillars, not just my belief, but a lot of people believe that they kind of take it a bit too far. But, you know, regardless, we're not going to get into that in this video here. More specifically, one of the biggest content creators, his name's Wheat Waffles, who I've actually featured on this channel. I interviewed him uh, back in the day. Nice guy. Uh, but, you know, this guy has a face rating service and a large part of his channel is rating the faces of men, more specifically rating them in the sense of does he think women will find it attractive or not? And it's come under a lot of scrutiny because I think a lot of people are kind of skeptical about, you know, the legitimacy of another dude rating other guys' faces. Uh, you know, he has science and stuff to back it up, but, you know, I was kind of curious to see whether his face ratings would align with, you know, actual women, <laughs> right? And what you're about to see in this video, um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's, it's probably going to shock you a bit uh, what the women say versus what Wee Waffles says. So without further ado, I'm going to try to leave my judgment as much as possible out of this and let you guys come to your own conclusions. Uh, here's the video. Are you like half Hispanic, half like? I'm um, half Asian. Good call. Yeah. What's that? You have really pretty eyes. Thank you. Thank you. You got that on camera, right? <laughs> a girl, a girl say I had pretty eyes. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. I just want to, I'm going to show you some of those pictures because I promised. Okay. Because uh, there's a common thing within our space of people, like other dudes rating other dudes attracting this. It's kind of weird. But uh, I'm just curious if you guys kind of agree with these ratings, I guess. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to bring up random ones. I apologize if the pictures are blurry. Okay. Scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> first impression. First, <laughs> first impression. Hold on. I need to screen record this so I know that it's the right one. All right. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'll give him a Is he really that ugly? No, no he just it's it's funny just as shit. Like, it's just a mustache. I'll give him like I mean I don't know. Okay, um I'll give him a four, three. Three or four. I mean he's not unattractive. He's not unattractive. He's not unattractive. It's just, like, it's just the mustache. Like, so I'll give him a five. All right, how many points does he go down because of the mustache? Oh, a lot. He looks like a police officer. He lost a in, like, lot a because really of the small mustache. Town. He's definitely a narc. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I would say two. <laughs> okay. I was thinking like a six or seven. I, I don't like. I don't like white boys. So. All right. Well, this guy is actually like a professional male model. So he made a wow. video talk complaining about the modeling industry. Okay. So. So if he didn't have the stash, would it be higher? I, I would say yeah. No, I don't. I no. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm curious what you think, what you would rate him in terms of attracting a scale of one to ten, and then I could tell you what this guy rated him. He's got. Looks like he's got one blue eye and one brown eye. Maybe. Um, I'm not into mustaches. I don't like them personally. I have a mustache. Well, I'm not that into them, and I don't know this guy, and I know you, which your personality makes your face look more attractive. Uh, okay. I don't know this guy's personality. I'm just only looking at his looks, and the first thing I see is that mustache on his face, and I don't think it's attractive. What? It, so, let, so let's <laughs> say if he didn't have a mustache, what would you rate him, and what what would you rate him with a mustache? So let's say the mustache wasn't there. Mm, you can get a good idea. To, I'm trying to imagine him without one. Maybe like an eight. Damn. All right. So high up there. Yeah, he's so, got a nice face. Yeah. So this guy's actually a professional model. So 
He does, I don't know what modeling he does, but he made a video talking about the modeling industry. Okay, well maybe so a that's nine. What he's known for. Eight I nine. can't change your mind now. Just say well, eight. I think I'm just now learning about these rating scales, and I'm gonna say eight or nine. If I see somebody that is attractive as him, I'm gonna say eight or nine. Okay. I thought that I had to choose one or the other, but I decided I can choose both, and I'm saying eight or nine. Eight and it's not because nine. of and it's not because of what you said. Okay. So guess what this guy rated him? What? A six. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that a six is an accurate rating? Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Gave this rating to anyone who's slightly above average looking. They have a couple promising features that would be considered attractive by most people and may only have a handful of flaws. So guy on the left. He looks like a computer geek. Yeah, I'll give him a three. Two, maybe. Damn, you girls are harsh. A seven, there were just 76 of these guys. So less than 10% here. You receive this rating if you're convincingly above average looking. Most features need to be attractive here, and there is very little margin for flaws and weaknesses. However, you may still be able to get away with one or two. For example, this man's eyebrows aren't dark enough, and this man has nasolabial folds. First initial reaction, like don't, don't try to like, yeah, yeah. A, a, a three? You are so harsh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> I was gonna say like two, one. A two or a one? Oh my gosh. So, actually, this guy, seven. Uh, what would you rate this guy? Mm, he's not my type. Like, honestly, I would swipe left, but mm -hmm. maybe like a six. A six, okay. So, drum roll please, let's see what he got rated. A seven, so it's pretty close. Yeah. So would you consider that guy attractive then? You said he's not your type, but do you think he's like objectively attractive or no? I'm sure he's attractive to somebody. Just not to you? Not just by his picture, no. Okay, Okay. I'm interested in, I have a feeling I might know what you're gonna say here. <laughs> I would go with a seven. Okay, I mean, that's a huge jump from the two and the one that you did before. <laughs> so is it because he's like Hispanic looking? Yeah. 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 All right, Shay's definitely got her type. All right, how about you? I would say seven. Okay, right on. This one, I've already memorized these. This one actually is a seven, so. What about this handsome man here? He's attractive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like um, seven or eight. Okay. See, the number is He's got nice teeth and nice eyebrows. Yeah, there you go. Seven, cool. All right, <laughs> we waffles. You did well there. All right, guy on the right. Guy on the right looks a little fruity to me. Yeah, it's too clean. He's he too looks clean. like he takes longer to get ready than me. He gets a four. He looks too nice. He looks like he looks like he only does missionary, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Literally. That's the one. That's I'm gonna start one. saying that. Alright. It's kind of boring. Very. Yeah. yeah. You need more, uh, well, not missionary. Other things. More <laughs> exciting things. Understandable. Alright. Oh god, there's a chat. Ah, so you saw it instantly. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Mm. Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah. He's beautiful. Yeah, I would probably go ten. Nine? Eight. Why not a 10? How If this guy's not a 10, then who is? <laughs> I'm not that picky, I promise. Um, I don't know. It's a, probably the eyes. I like his eyes. Hey, he's got those Chad eyes. I'm not digging the facial hair. Ah. I, I don't know. I thought you said you like beards. Without the mustache, though. So you'd rather have like, the Amish look? Keep the beard, no mustache? <laughs> no, never mind. I don't know. There's something about the facial hair that I don't like. All right, so yeah, as on a scale of eight, this guy's obviously gonna be an eight. Yeah. By most people's scales, if it's a ten, he's definitely gonna be a ten. Pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how about this guy? All right, I hate the mustache, but he is cute, so I would say he's like an eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy's like the stereotypical Chad. Now, I will say, oh my god, I keep doing this. I will say this guy's photo. Um, what guy? It, it'll it'll come up in a second. Sorry. 
YouTube's being stupid. Um, it is touched up a bit, but he's clearly like a professional model, you know? So, so if this guy's an eight to you, what is a 10? Do 10s just like not exist? Or what would be a nine, I would say? Because I feel like this guy's like, I don't think you can get, I think this is one I of think, those photos. I think Brad Pitt in his younger years was a nine. Okay, fair assessment. He looks too old now though. Yeah, no, Brad Pitt is. For me. Brad Pitt's my favorite actor of all time because I love Fight Clubs. My favorite I think Zach Efron's super fine too. Like okay, he's a, he's all right. A nine. Okay, so I think that makes sense that you would rate those guys a nine. Mm -hmm. I still think this guy compared to them is probably about, at about the same level. But then again, I'm a dude and not a girl, so. Okay, he could be a nine, eight or nine. Don't let me sway your opinion. These two guys. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait a minute! Now we're getting somewhere. We're literally at twelve and twelve. See, this is the spice I be talking that's, about. That's yeah, that's what I want. This is the spice yeah. I'm talking about. When All I right, so it. these guys are known. At, have you heard of the term Chad before? Chad. Yeah, these are these are definitely Chads. I mean, look at them. Yeah, you know. Oh, okay, so you guys gave them a twelve. They're off the scale. All right. Okay. All right, how about this guy? I would say a seven. Okay. Five, five. Damn, a five, really? A four. So what makes him a four? I mean, I feel like the thing that sticks out to me is the eyebrows. Like, I would, I would want him, I mean, I wouldn't change him. But, like, if I were to change anything about him, it would be just, like, to lessen the thickness of his eyebrows. And what about you? Why rate him so low? I don't know. He just, it might be the eyebrows too, but it just, I don't, I don't know. So this guy, his rating system, for some reason, it only goes up to an eight. And what he rated is an eight. It's an eight out of 10. Highly attractive guys or chads, as a lot of followers of my channel like to call them. Very few people receive this. Do you guys agree with that? That he's like the, the peak, like, so at this level, for by this guy's definition, he's what we would call like a Chad. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Yeah. yeah. So he's like a Chad. So he's the type of guy that like he's walking down the street and everybody's turning their heads. Yeah. Do you agree with that assessment? No. No. Okay. All right. How about this young man here? Um, his eyebrows bug me. Hmm. Definitely not. The big caterpillar eyebrows. Not a fan. Mm. Hmm. Mm. And they're not even either. He looks like he did them himself. <laughs> He didn't get professional help. I think he had a big turn off. I for think you? he needs professional help. Like if I was his girlfriend, I'd be like, honey, you should grow your eyebrows out. Stop messing with them and go get them professionally threaded at my lady. Oh, plug for your lady, whoever she is. Okay. So what would, uh, what's the final analysis? What's his rating? What do you give him? Six. A six. Very interesting. Whoops. Setting that you can get. Yeah. What about this guy? Well, it looks like he gives himself highlights, which I'm not into. And what's he doing to his lip? Is he, he like he sucking on his lip? I think he just has thin lips. No, it looks like he's sucking on his own lip. Okay. Nobody has a lip that looks like that. Hold on, let me see this up close. He's sucking on his lip. Okay. He's actually pretty hot, but the blonde highlights kind of make him look gay and I'm not I'm not attracted to gay guys so if he didn't have the blonde highlights and he wasn't sucking on that lip in the photo and he just had regular lips then he could be seven or eight okay but you know the blonde highlights are pretty ugly on him and I can't really see what his lips actually look like so I'm just gonna say seven and that's my final answer all right how about this man? It's hard to go off a picture because like the face he's making is like not the best, I feel. It doesn't fit his features very well. But I feel like if he were to like like see like see each other in real person, I feel like he would probably be like a seven or an eight. Okay. Alright. I was thinking four. Damn, why? Because he's baby faced? No, um I don't know. I think maybe it's the angle of the picture but all right drum roll please what is it an eight <laughs> i know so so that guy is just as handsome as the guy that you saw before basically based on this guy's assessment right i i mean i don't agree but i feel like i would have to see them in person and like 
yeah, I, I would just have to interact with them and just kind of get a full feel for it. So technically they're both chads, I guess, based on this guy's assessment. Do you guys disagree with that? Yeah, I would disagree. All right, cool. Would you rate these guys the same as these guys? No. Okay. All right, I'm glad you I'm glad you said that because the guy that made the video said that all of these guys, well, he rated all of them an 8. An 8? An 8? All of them? That so means not an 8. These guys are the same as these is what he's saying? That's what he's saying, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't see that. At all. So there you have it. The ladies have spoken. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You know, this wasn't a too big of a sample size. The There was about four girls that were featured in this video. So for all we know, other girls, if there was a bunch more, maybe they would have been more in alignment with Wee Waffles ratings. I don't know. With that said, if any of you guys who are fans or content creators yourself, if you want to film a video of you, you know, asking the same questions, doing the same face ratings with, with women that you know personally in your own life, if you film it, send it to me. I'll have I'll feature you on the channel, give you a shout out, whatever you want, uh, because I think the more data that we can accrue uh, with this, the more realistic we can be about our expectations of other guys rating other guys attractiveness. <laughs> OK, so uh, anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's continue the conversation down there. Uh, is men rating other men? Is that a legitimate way to, you know, see how women perceive you or should it be exclusively just what the women say? Let's continue the conversation in the comments section. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. See you next video.